Good morning, Shane. Yeah. Good morning. I always say it's, I feel like this is a little bit of a hidden gem. I know it's been around the Twin City Model Railroad Museum in some way for 90 years. But when you come in here and there's St. Paul's location, it's just so magical. It's just huge. Whether you grew up with a train set or not, I think you can get something out of this. If you love Legos, there's something for you here as well because we have the Greater Midwest Lego Train Club, Jesse Moeller with us, he's one of the members and uh, one of the builders, one of the many builders here. You've leaned into Spooky Trains, which is starting up this weekend. Show us a few of the sets that you're loving this year. Um, loving the Scooby-Doo and Monster Fighters. Hocus Pocus is a new set I know people are loving, and uh, it's a lot of fun to add lights to our displays. So obviously we're impressed with seeing these buildings, but when you start to really look, the details are incredible. Like for Hocus Pocus, that's a set that you did some customization with it, with everything. Right, yeah, you gotta have the witches flying and some lighting, of course, just kind of brings things alive. And the trick-or-treaters, of course, <laughs> make it look like a lot's going on. There's a lot of trick-or-treaters. Speaking of which, the Haunted House, I recognize that one. Yeah, we have the Minnesota State Fair display and the Haunted House was teleported to this block party of Spooky Fest. Okay, <laughs> costumes are encouraged for Spooky Trains, which is the 21st and the 28th starting this weekend. Jesse, thanks, I'm gonna pop over because I want to also talk about the model Twin City Model Railroad Museum, which is the host site for the Lego Club. Okay, we have Peter Southgarth, not only the president, but also the train doctor. You do a lot of work here. Well, I do. I, I try and keep up with all of the repairs and maintenance on a lot of the older trains. That can't be an easy deal. Here, we're going to back up just a little bit. I'm going to let Siraj get in there so he can show. So obviously you start with the Halloween setup here. What's the trains that we have like going through the background? In the background, we have some O-scale uh, trains, passenger trains on uh, two sets of uh, track and uh, freight trains on another two set. There's so many trains whizzing around here and it's been fascinating to learn all the different types. And then you look at the cute little city setups and again, we mentioned the details with the Lego, but it's same with these setups as well. When you start to look close, you see so many fun things. Our members put in a lot of work uh, putting together as much scale detail as possible for the different uh, uh, holiday settings that we do. And then you're going to change it over pretty soon. So after the 28th, which is the last day of Spooky Trains, by the next Saturday, we will start to see Night Trains come to life. Describe Night Trains. Night Trains is a family affair where we turn off the house lights, we turn on special uh, evening lights. The, uh, both the layouts and the trains themselves are decorated with special holiday lights and holiday decorations. And we make it just a fun time for the entire family. It is one of my favorite events by far. Peter, thank you. I'm going to send it back to you guys again, 21st, 28th, 3 to 7 here at the Twin City Model Railroad Museum in St. Paul. Siraj, you want to come over here really quick? I just want to show you guys, if you're wondering where the train doctor does his work, mm -hmm. it's right here. And it's where you can see it. He even has the camera like a cooking show right above the work he's doing uh -huh. so you can watch it happen in real life. Mm -hmm. Some of these trains from the 30s and 40s wow. that he's working on. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. yeah. Check it out. Yeah. The spooky